Well, if there's a hell for animators, then our next guest has got a handbasket with his name on it. He's been taking cute, doe-eyed critters and mutilating them for years. And you know what? We love every second of it. He's Happy Tree Friends co-creator, Ken Navarro. Ken, welcome to the show. Thank you for glad having me. Glad to have you here. Really glad to have your, have your stuff on the network, man. It is it's awesome. Great. It's hilarious. Tell me, it's been around for ages. I remember, I think I, I saw the first Happy Tree Friends when I was on dial-up. I mean, how yeah. long have you guys been around? <laughs> We've been around since the dawn of the internet, it seems like, early 99, 2000, somewhere like that. Right. And uh, when we used to do the shows, they were just a minute long. And I remember our considerations were 56K, so we had to make those shows work with 56K modems, which I guess don't exist anymore. But. Yeah, and you guys, you guys have really adapted to change quite a bit. They're no longer a minute long episodes, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. How has this evolved over time? Well, um, back in the day, we were we had uh, Mondo Media had a whole bunch of internet shows, you know, right. big dot com. You know, of course, uh, we're gonna make millions. Wait, we're gonna make millions. TV's gonna happen on the internet right now. We feel it. Oh wait, wait a minute. Wait, we're wait for it. Yeah. No, no, you guys survived though. You guys were one of the very few companies that actually water. survived all that. No, you, you kept your nose above. Yes, though. we kept it above. Um, and um, all thanks to Happy Tree Friends, we. Um, the fans have been great, you know, they kind of came out and really supported it and really like clamored and asked for the stuff and we kind of just were really, couldn't do anything but make more shows really, right. so that's what it came down to. And what is it about Happy Tree Friends? I mean, is it, is it just the violence or is it the timing? Or there's is violence it, in Happy Tree Friends? I, I hear, I hear that there's, there's one part where a guy stubs his toe. Oh, I mean, that's, that's too much for That's me. taken it over the line yeah, in 1999, I mean, but, me. but it's not just about the violence, right? I mean, or is it really? Well, no, not really. We, we really... I mean, well, yeah, maybe it, I'm sorry, I'm looking at some of it. Now. Yeah, well, maybe it is about the violence. Oh, there is, there is, there is pacing. There is some writing that's involved, right? I mean, yeah, if you can consider it writing. But yeah, what's, I'm, the, what's I'm the production kidding. like? How do you actually produce one of these shows? You guys sit down and say, okay, we want to, we want to figure out a way for this guy to lose all of his limbs and his bowels at the same time. Wow, you should come to our writing meeting. That's, you can have that one for free. Actually, let's <laughs> take that. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, the, really, the core of our writing meetings is to make each other laugh. That's kind of how we started the show as, a, as kind of a joke with like these kind of cute, cuddly animals kind of meeting all these great, really gruesome demises and. Uh, that's kind of like our litmus test is to try to make each other laugh with this kind of stuff. Right. So, and to this day, that's kind of still how we do the brainstorming sessions, you know, come up with just kind of these crazy concepts and just off the wall stuff. And, you know, the more, the crazier, the better is probably the, the, Party line, I guess. Now, now, do you find that the cartoon has has really easy international appeal? Because there's no dialogue in it. You know, there's no there's no no, no need to translate. Yeah. Violence is obviously a universal, universal message. That's we know what that. We you like know. to say people around the world love decapitation of cuddly critters. They love it. Can't get enough of it. Do you, do you find that you have an international appeal with this? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, it's kind of a, a and I hate to admit this um, in front of the public, but <laughs> it was born out of Rodi and I's laziness because we really didn't want to write any dialogue when we created the show. Right. We had worked on other shows and seen how people had struggled to write dialogue right. and just like and we were like oh words we're are not. for suckers exactly that's Pour for some losers. blood on it that's a loser's game so we were like yeah just squeaks and squeals for everybody so we it, tried that for a whole episode <laughs> the whole audience thought they were on acid and freaked out and kept calling in and it just doesn't it doesn't you need work the, for us. the blood and the, exactly. the fur and stuff exactly. like that like, it really and helps. you guys have kind of diversified now you've got I, I've, you've got big plush dolls you've got statue figures yeah, you've got cool. dvds i mean how's the merchandise really played in all this it's been really cool like i said the fans have been really rabid and really supported which is great it's totally oh my gosh these are a dream come true i mean having i'm a huge geek and that news by the way with geek love is, is it's good to know right yeah. yeah it's like now it's proof exactly. show your girlfriend that clip See? and be honest don't See? leave baby i'm gonna pay off the end <laughs> Just wait, wait. Yeah, look, here, have but, another uh, DVD. She's I'm like, a I'm huge seeing. collector of toys and stuff like that, and just having this is, is just all total dream, dream fulfillment. You know, it's been great. Where are you going to go from here? Are you going to see what's what's next in the merch? What what have you tackled yet? Um, I mean, are you going to pull a Lucas? And we're going to see toothbrushes. Oh, I and hope so. I'm just going to be like a Howard you're, you're Hughes bacon, right? recluse and just totally, you know, pee in little jars and stuff like that the whole nine yards. Oh, I don't. I oh, I haven't maybe. seen Lucas urine on eBay yet. Is that TMI? No, no, no. <laughs> that's totally fine. I just want to know where I can buy. You know. Uh, so really, I mean, what's the next? Are you guys gonna have a feature-length film coming up? Anything Ooh. like that? Uh, I don't know. Not right now. Although... Could people stomach sixty minutes? <laughs> I, guess, oh. I don't know. I I would be hazard <laughs> to watch it myself. But I think uh, Happy Tree Friends on Ice would be. Uh... A good idea. I would definitely take my kids Anybody to see out that. there? And if not, uh, I would take the neighbor's kids happen. without their permission. So, Ken, thanks for stopping thanks by. Thanks for having me. And thanks again for the Happy Tree Friends. Oh, excellent content. We, we love working it. on it. All right. Visit the website at happytreefriends.com. And, of course, every Monday and every Friday, you'll see more of Happy Tree Friends right here on the old Attack of the Show.